guys all had a great weekend. Uh, the internet seems to, over the last, I'm, I'm probably Jinxing. throwing that all out the window, right? 4 a.m. our time. So that was uh, a welcome change from what we've been getting. And it looks like Wednesdays is going to be on time as well. I've actually actually already uploaded it. I just have to do a little editing. And so Wednesday's video, I think will be on time. And we, I don't know, Friday night was kind of iffy. So um, I, we're hoping that this, uh, we're out on. So uh, do we, does it look like whole video from this morning? So thank you guys, everybody for the terrific. So uh She's got actually a couple more projects in mind. One more that she's done that she hasn't, she kind of just showed on a Friday Night Live that uh, I think is even more impressive. That little platter, that rosewood platter that really came out nice. I really like that one. That's my favorite so far. Is the reception iffy? How does it look? Is it choppy? Is it blurry? It's, it's not telling me anything over here. Hi. Dan. Dan Yotis? Hey, Dan. Hi, Pam. Pam? <laughs> okay. Pam. So let's uh, keep going. I have a question here, and I think this might be applicable for a lot of people, um, especially new people. This is from Raymond, and he says, I've started upon the path of uh, router carving signs and images. My wife and I also do scroll saw work, but alas, I do have a question for you. <laughs> I've watched several of your uh, tutorial videos, and for the life of me, I forgot color to poplar or uh, pine boards. So can you tell me again where I can find that video? Okay, hold on. Brian, look. He <laughs> asked where the balloon was oh, the, behind your the head. the balloon. You yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Um, anyway, so Raymond, the, uh, the video that, uh, where I showed the spray stain, and in case you guys don't know, this is it. And again, I don't know if the picture is going to show it, but it's a Krylon spray stain. And I use a little bit darker and I'm using pine. Then I just put this, uh, cedar, uh, spray stain on it. And if you go back and watch video, either, um, hashtag 101 that was the another demo of how it goes on. So hopefully that uh, that shows up. But it it really allows a board for me. I can't get the um, the cedar fencing any wider. And then I just saw something over my shoulder. It out good and getting rougher. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just possessed. Well, it just I think it's a a crapshoot to how many people are on the internet. Uh, either out here locally or worldwide. I think it just... Well, we watched, a, we listened to, uh, who was that? Um, who was uh, Bill O'Reilly when he was saying that there's like 63% more people are on the internet now. And the yeah. internet's just... Yeah, and all the streaming, yeah, everybody's watching Netflix and Amazon Prime and, you know, Hulu. What and... tree? The tree that was behind you. We didn't have a tree back there. The tree behind us. Well, that one's kind of a no, skeleton. That's, that's Paul. Oh, no, that I don't know over there. It, could it be Myrtle? Myrtle over there. Over there. Yeah. Maybe Myrtle. Yeah, uh -uh. the one the pig was by the other day. <gasps> um. Anyway, I, I, you know, it, it again, it's kind of a crapshoot. I know the one that we, that we did on Saturday. Uh, it was really I think I actually deleted it. I just, if, if this comes out really bad guys, I'm just going to delete them. I don't want to leave them up there if they're really horrible, but you know, we're here to answer questions. So if there's any questions we can Hi, answer Mike. for you. Hi from the hill. He said hello from the fire department. Mike, Michael Boyd, Michael Boyd. Borg. 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 Oh yeah. Michael Borg. He's down in uh, Lake Havasu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi Michael. Um, Anyway, so we're going to keep doing this and we're now, you know what? I want to ask you guys some questions or, or a couple questions because I'm tempted to try Facebook live. Facebook has a live, um, a way to go live 
or Instagram live, but I know most of you live, you know, you're watching me on YouTube. It's, better now. it's, it's kind of getting a little bit better. better. Yeah. Well, we have almost two acres. I can't remember who asked. Uh, uh, Michael Considine. So it's almost two, uh, two oh, acres. That's, that's Boston Mike. Yeah, and, and it should look, the order page on the website should look totally different than the way it looked before. We're doing some... David, how did you Instagram? But you're on Facebook, right, Tessa? Facebook is like... It, you know? Maybe tomorrow we'll try Facebook Live, guys. And, you know, you guys, um, I know there's a huge population here that watch us on <laughs> YouTube that are also on Facebook. Michael Constantine asked how much property we have. We said two acres. He said from Boston, two acres where I come from would be a neighborhood of 18, with 18 or with thousands of people living. I think is what it says. <laughs> yeah. Pam says she likes the sound effects, birds singing. Yep, they're, they're, they're Yeah, chirping. birds we are chirping. You can see all the quail that we have. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the quail. They're not out right now. but They were over there a minute ago, but we scared them away. Hi, Brian from LaSalle. Uh, hey, Brian. Yeah, the birds You're are, welcome, Dan. Birds are chirping. Um... So anyway, so tomorrow night around this time, you, you those of you that are on Facebook, um, just be kind of ready for us to go Facebook Live. I think we're going to try that and see, just to kind of see what happens. Yeah. I want to keep doing these lives. I'll have a question, and you guys keep sending me questions, because I'm going to take one question every day, answer it, and then we'll kind of see how it evolves and goes on from there. I think so. you should tell them about our adventure this morning. <laughs> oh, our trip to the dump? Yeah. Yeah, we... You guys we, want to know what, what we did today? We spent about four hours this morning changing a flat tire on a loaded trailer, and yeah, it was... Uh, then we, we got, after that, we got out there, and the line was so full, <laughs> so long we left. We had to turn around and come back because we couldn't stay two hours in line. So Hi, the Bob. So we don't have regular trash pickup here. We have a trailer, a boxed-in trailer that we take to the dump every month, month and a half, something like that. So today was the day we were going to go out there. We got about three miles from the house, and uh, the trailer tire went flat. So we had to jack that up, disconnect it, come back. Eh, yeah, it was. And then we had to go down and get another tire, and then two hours later go out to the dump and then the line uh or the let's call it a landfill i think it's not politically correct to call it a dump anymore but and if they're really really tiny um you can you can absolutely do it i don't use it that a drum a long time there's a lot of people that have started with uh, doing signs and they switched over to router because they can do it so much faster. Paul, uh, Frank says, best laid plans of mice and men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Michael Constantine said he locked his keys in his car today at the grocery store. Oh, that's fun. Bye, Brian. Sorry about the internet. Sorry, Brian. Sorry, guys. So, um, anything else for us? We'll get off here and let you guys Move on with your evening. Vicky's hand is healing up. My hand is healing. I don't remember who it was. I don't recognize him. About uh, there's he's a jack. Uh, somebody made a comment. Oh no, he's a cottontail. There he goes, little white butt popping up and down. Um, somebody made a com. Thank you guys. Somebody made a comment about protecting uh protecting yourself when using power tools. Um, and again, there's with power tools, I, I am adamant and Eric is strongly adamant about me wearing face masks, gloves, um, you know, make sure I have shoes on. Thank you guys. And not my flip flops. And I thought I was protected. The gloves that I wore were not, I guess, rightfully. <laughs> yeah, they were kind of kind of cloth. Kind of cloth. Really, and if I had my leather gloves on, it would have been um, better. Thank they, you guys. Yeah, I they, love my bowl. Yeah, they weren't they weren't cotton gloves, but they weren't leather. No, and I think were, next yeah. time go with those full leather Thank you, gloves. Bob. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely you guys if uh, and Susan, 
I know I don't think Susan Alexander's here who is a master power carver and she's just giving me all kinds of information and I think she's as excited about it as I am about me doing power edges long before we were power carving and I did a couple of videos where I was using the angle grinder and doing edges on the edge of boards I got quite a bit of feedback and actually some pictures of Maybe really hours. bad stuff so you've got to wear a, yeah. a shield when you're doing that and I went back I actually had got an upgraded to one with a paddle switch so I highly recommend both of our angle grinder and our die grinder have a paddle switch so if you let it go it goes off so I, then the I, then a router very, I mean I had actually turned off the uh, angle the grinder and yep. turned it on Pam said thank you Eric for answering I just got a Wen brand Dremel and it worked great for sanding the edges some of my signboards. Um, his dad was tested positive, also and struggling oh. a little bit, but thanks everyone for the first. We will continue praying for them and you as well, Tessa. We don't want you getting sick. Um, Joel McGee says, Pam, Joel. can't say for anyone else, but I've been using a Dremel for small lettering and intricate work of signs for 30 plus years. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It does some really, really fine detail. It's just for bigger signs, it just, my experience and my feedback that I've gotten is that it just takes longer uh, for bigger signs. So, you know, I always, I kind of have always looked through the prism of doing these signs in a fairly timely manner so I can make money with it. So, but if you're, you know, the Dremels do great work, so it just... Generally speaking, it takes longer, but I might be wrong on that now that there are... Well, I, he's been doing it for a long time, too. Joel. And you've been using a router for a long time, so yeah. it's what you're used to and what you're good at and what you... Oh, here comes get, the wind. I think I'm getting hit with raindrops in the back of my head. I don't know, maybe... But oh, my wind weird. chimes are going. Yeah. Wind is picked up. This is in the country, and we're going to get... Uh, we're going to get past uh, this, Frank, all this yes, stuff. Yes, I believe he did, Frank. He's, he's working on uh, the packaging and those other things also. Frank so, Jenkins? Frank, yeah. That yep. video was awesome, by the way, Frank. Great Thank video, you. Frank. Good job, buddy. Um, all right, guys. So tomorrow night, plan on seeing us on around this time on Facebook Live. Yeah. And we'll we'll check it out and see how see it works. that works better. So uh, keep sending me questions, and I'll keep answering. Guys, that's, that's a Gary V thing. <laughs> You keep asking, we'll answer. Mm. So, love you all. Thanks so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, if you've run across this and you don't know who we are, go check out our channel. If you like what you see, we'd love for you to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And um, if you have any questions, eric at makeawoodsign.com. And we will get this. Love you too, Tessa. <laughs> Frank says your language is better than Gary V's. Mm. <laughs> a little bit. Donald Spider yeah. said, I use my Dremel to carve stars and the rustic flags I make sometimes. It's much better for Ferben and his dad and Tessa and anybody else that needs prayers. We are prayer warriors. So let us know what they are. And say goodnight, That's Gracie. That's it. Good night, Gracie. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.